Welcome to the Edmonton Convention Center. Our building is 150,000 square feet and we host half a million guests each year. Today I'm going to take you on a tour on the outside and inside of the building to show you all of our wonderful sustainability features. The Edmonton Convention Center is a meeting and event space that's 150,000 square feet. We have about a half a million guests coming through this building every year. We serve about 250,000 meals. So when we're talking about hosting that many people, there's a lot of waste. So really for us, it just enhances the obligation that we have to operate in a responsible fashion. So the Edmonton Convention Center has a really unique position in that our building actually slopes into the North Saskatchewan River Valley, which is a natural protected area. Because of this, we really understand that we have an important responsibility to this fragile ecosystem. So with our building's proximity to the River Valley and that ecosystem, we have designed the exterior spaces of our building to really help to support that, uh, that life. So we have lots of things in our exterior space that help to enhance our sustainability work. Um, one of them is actually our apiary. We keep bees here during the summer months and we winterize them over the winter. And in the peak of summer, we have over 100,000 bees in our colony. Because of our south facing atrium roof, we actually are a prime location for harnessing the power of the sun. This year, we underwent an installation for Canada's largest building integrated solar photovoltaic installation. Our new solar installation that is actually up and running this year was really innovative in design. Uh, the solar cells, uh, unlike a, a traditional solar panel, are actually sandwiched between two pieces of glass. So it allows natural light to permeate uh, through the glass, uh, even though we're generating energy at the same spot. So we have been a convention center for 36 years here, but long before that, we're actually a meeting place uh, for indigenous people. We're a stop on the Hudson's Bay fur trading route. So this space is our Indigenous Medicine Wheel Garden. It was planted in 2016. Today it serves as a reminder that we, our building is located on Treaty 6 land, which is the traditional gathering place for many First Nations people, Métis, Inuits, and we still acknowledge that every day here today and with our community. Here at the Convention Center, we've had a long withstanding history of sustainability, and we have a strong culture of sustainability uh, amongst our employees here for almost a decade now. In 2018 and 2019, we looked to improving our sustainability position by hiring a full-time sustainability manager and promoting the opportunity to be able to explore those different ways that we can reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. Honestly, I think it comes from more than just our team. Our current mayor in the city is very big on sustainability and kind of just the whole trickle down effect and the dedication that our leadership team has put forth on it is above. When you have half a million guests coming to your venue every year and you serve 250,000 meals, one of the most important things that we have as part of our sustainability program is waste management. And this is where all that magic happens. <laughs> The events industry does at times have a reputation for being a materialistic industry. And so for us, one of the most important uh, things that we do here in this building is our waste management program. These ones are our organic spins. So that captures um, not only our food waste, but any organic waste, and then also uh, biodegradable goods um, such as our paper products. Uh, the back one is a commingled recyclables and here's where our landfill waste would go. In 2018, our waste diversion rate, so the amount of waste that we actually keep out of landfill, was only around 50%. Over just one year time, we increased that to be 71%, which is a 21% increase of the amount of waste we keep out of landfill. That means about 50,000 kilograms of waste that would have gone to landfill were actually diverted. Another way we deal with food waste here is uh, through our participation in Edmonton's Food Bank Second Helping Program. We've been donating food to that program for over 10 years now, and just last year we donated about 5,000 meals uh, to those in need in Edmonton through that partnership. This is our donation area at the centre. Anything that's left behind by a group, an event, an exhibition or a convention uh, gets gathered here and then sorted, and then we deal with 40 different charitable or non-for-profit organizations in the city to send these materials away for reuse. Through those enhancements, we actually donated over 8,000 pounds of material that would have otherwise gone to landfill. 
So you're some of the first people to actually see this completed work in our venue. It uh, was completed just following uh, COVID-19 when our venue unfortunately closed. So the public hasn't even been able to see this. Uh, this was a mural that was done in partnership with Rust Magic to tell the story of our sustainability journey for clients who are coming into our building. We also have a living wall, which is a beautiful component uh, built into the wall as well. And then of course, the syllabic that's written in Cree, uh, which translates to a very similar definition of sustainability. It actually means to take only what you need from nature. In 2019, we launched our Responsible Events program. And really, that was all about making it easier for clients to host an event, a sustainable event at our venue. There's a misconception that hosting an event that is more sustainable might be more costly or it might be more difficult. And we know that sustainable events have a better chance of success when it's a two-way street. And we really wanted to help support clients uh, to get there. A lot of our national, even international clients come to us and one of the first questions in the whole planning process is what are we doing to be sustainable? At that point, it's an easy let in for us to, to explain to them what we do and, and get them to participate with us in one of our programs that we offer. Some of the things that we have as options for our clients on the Responsible Events program are things like participating in our 100% plant-based menu. They can also opt to use 100% recyclable signage options through our in-house supplier. They can also opt to carbon offset some or all of their event. And we're finding that that's been a much more popular option in recent years with people being just more savvy about carbon emissions and reducing their own event footprint. So here is one of our largest spaces at the convention center. You can imagine the types of events we can host in a space this big, but this gives you an idea of just the sheer space that we have to heat and cool and light and the amount of people that we can host in, in a room of this size. We don't know what is right just yet, only that we ought to extend the, the first step um, in change. And change happens by changing something. And by us placing it as a priority in our own business model, we enable not only ourselves, but our clients to support those initiatives that could improve their own events and our environment. If a venue our size can promote sustainability, make sustainability a priority, then anyone can. We wanted to jump in and lead the way and, and be the people who can create that change in the industry. Everything that we do around sustainability is about um, eliminating greenhouse gas emissions, but it's also about helping our industry to move forward, to inspire change and to just create a more sustainable events industry all around.